Hey everyone, welcome to a quick After Effects tutorial. Today I am talking about how to scrub through your audio just using your timeline. So you don't have to do any RAM previews or playing of your After Effects timelines. You can just play through it and listen to it with your timeline indicator with your mouse. And I'll also give you another quick tip when you're working with audio in After Effects. So let's get straight over to the project. Here is just a sample title card that I created for a course on animating with keyframes. And I got this music from YouTube, not too cray. YouTube has a great library of music that you can use for your video projects now. And so you bring it down onto your timeline. One way to sort of match up your music with whatever is going on in your video is to look at the waveforms. And I say this because when you're editing, a good thing to try to do is to match up different movements of elements in your animations with beats or clicks or hits of different instruments in your music. So to look at the waveform of this audio track, just hit L twice on your keyboard. That brings up this waveform. So now I can visually see where different elements of this audio track are. But it's really hard to know what are those elements. So we want to scrub through it and be able to listen to it. So just hold Command if you're on a Mac or Control if you're on a PC and then scrub through. So now you can hear the music as you scrub through. And say when this bar, this Video School Online bar comes down, I want this hit to come right when that bar appears. I now know that this hit is where this waveform is, this little spike, and I can put it there. And if I RAM preview this over here by in the preview window clicking RAM preview, the animation goes with the beat of the song and that's a lot nicer than if it just is a, at a random spot and the beats are hitting at random times throughout your animation. So remember, Double clicking L on your keyboard will bring up the waveforms and then holding command or control and scrubbing through your timeline will allow you to hear what's going on in the audio file whether it's a music file or if you're animating a person's mouth and trying to lip sync them to whatever the voiceover is this is a great tool to use. So thanks for watching for more great tutorials and tricks visit videoschoolonline.com. You can also find premium courses on how to use After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, and do lots more with your video creating skills. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video.